and everyone, give a big round of applause to Improv Schmimprov! <laughs> going to start with a game uh, that we call A Bunch of New Yorkers Remember the Plot of a Movie. Uh, we, we all know people who haven't seen a movie but love to chime in as if they had seen that movie, and that's all of these guys. Um, so they will uh, be chiming in one after another, talking about the same movie, but it's not the same movie, going from movie to movie. So, uh, what is a movie that everyone knows that we can start with? Godfather. Titanic. Godfather. Hey. Top Gun. Uh, uh, oh, uh, e uh, Godfather's fine. Godfather. Okay. We'll start with The Godfather. This is a bunch of New Yorkers remember the plot of a film with The Godfather. Let's give them a warm round of applause! Yeah, yeah, no, I, I remember that film. I remember that film, The, the Godfather. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one with, uh, with Joe Pesci, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he's the guy and he's, uh, he's got Daniel Stern and they're the wet bandits and they go oh, into yeah, people's yeah, houses yeah, yeah. and they steal their stuff and then they turn on the faucet and they let the water go everywhere, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 and then the, uh, the, the whole planet eventually floods yeah. and then uh, Kevin <laughs> Costner, yeah. and he grows gills yeah, behind yeah, his yeah, 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 and then they're trying to look for dry land. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. right. And then, and then he meets up with Batman, right? And, like, Wonder Woman's there and Superman's there, you know, and, like, he's like, I'm Aquaman. And everyone's like, nobody cares about you, Aquaman. Get oh, back yeah, to the yeah. water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then, uh, as I, if, I, if I'm uh, recalling this correctly, he eventually uh, washes up on dry land, but uh, is, uh, is stuck with just a volleyball. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> And he's uh, slowly losing his mind. Yeah, uh, yeah. But he's trying to stay sane. Yeah. You know, stuff and then Nurse Ratchet comes in and he's trying to keep her there. And she's trying to keep him there, even though he wants to go. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. he, you know, he, he teams up with Danny DeVito. Yeah, 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 that's right. And he's like, I'll be back. Yeah. 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 Now, I'll be honest. I haven't seen The Godfather, but I feel like that's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, we're now going to play a great game called Eiffel Tower. All right, uh, we're going to have uh, one person who is stuck in the middle between two different scenes, and they'll be racing back and forth between each scene. Uh, so on this side will be Jesse, on that side will be Jamie, and Ryan will be floating back and forth between both scenes. Uh, so uh, he over here, Ryan and Jamie, how do they know each other? Brothers. Ah, oh, brothers, okay. And uh, where are these brothers? Laundromat. At the laundromat, okay. And uh, Jesse and Ryan, where are they? Sisters. Foggy street <laughs> corners. At a foggy street corner. <laughs> so to recap, uh, brothers at the laundromat and at a foggy street corner. All right, so Ryan will be uh, uh, floating back and forth between both scenes at the beck and call of each one. So this is Eiffel Tower after a warm round of applause. Yeah, I know, but we need to do it. I don't want to be here. I just, I don't. Okay, what I, do you want to be naked? I. It doesn't sound like a bad idea right now, truth be <laughs> told. Well, then why don't you come over here, Governor? I can show you a real good time. <laughs> I don't know if this sounds like a good idea. You don't seem like the type to be wrecking. Reckoning with myself. Oh, nonsense! I'm as, I'm as noble as the Queen! <laughs> uh, you don't seem like the type to be trustworthy. I'm gonna go on my No, 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 hold on! I'll give you a discount. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Have off! You're not my type, true. Well, yeah, but I'm your brother! <laughs> what? I wish I had a better brother. You're not my what? type of brother. I, <laughs> you know, I do laundry, but. Yeah, you're the laundry brother. I'd rather hang out with Rob, the cool brother who has a motorcycle. <laughs> well, I mean, someday maybe I'll do enough laundry, I'll be able to get a motorcycle. <laughs> then I can be a laundry and motorcycle brother. Be like, you know, two two in one. Well, that's also weird logic, which is why I don't like you. <laughs> well, you don't have to like me to uh, have intimate relations with <laughs> oh, No, that's oh. one of the first things I must do. Oh, man, governor, governor, look here. Oh, I've got a paper bag with holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that then? Turns out that's my thing. <laughs> All right, so you won me over. All right, so you're gonna help me? You're gonna do laundry? Yeah, I guess. Let's do this laundry. Okay. All right, great. Okay, put this in. It's fabric softener. It makes the fabric soft. Otherwise, they come out really hard. <laughs> really hard. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what, what I'm gonna need here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do laundry.
agree with either Jamie or Ryan anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. Uh, you'll see that I use fabric softener because this bends. Um, all right, we're going to play a very fun game called Professor Comedy. A lot of you guys are watching tonight and you're thinking, Boy, how could these improv scenes be better? Well, we've actually brought <laughs> Professor Comedy here. He's going to uh, uh, in, in, in share his knowledge whenever he feels the need. So I need to know, um, what are these two people trying to accomplish that Professor Comedy's watching? Anything, like, what are Tiling they trying to do? What's that? Tiling a roof? Tiling the roof, sounds good. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after warm applause, this is Woo! Professor Comedy! <laughs> I can't believe you took me out on a Sunday for a work job. Well, you know, you've been begging for money, and you know, beggars can't be choosers. This is the day that we've got work, so you have to come out on a Sunday. I feel like you're trying to teach me a lesson, but I'm not going to learn it. I'm just going to be resentful of you. I'm not teaching you a lesson. I just gave you a job. You just, I you mean, know, the lesson is uh, do your job. <laughs> you know, flimmer, flammer, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. So, in this scene, <laughs> the comedy <laughs> comes from the fact that Flimmer Flammer <laughs> is nonsensical. <laughs> and nobody has ever said it <laughs> in any context whatsoever in the whole history of human civilization. <laughs> you know, that's one of the reasons I brought you out here, Rocco. You're very entertaining. Yeah, well, maybe I don't want to be entertaining. Maybe I want to be the boss of my own roofing company. Well, do you know what? Poodle doodle. <laughs> Get at it. You know what? Tingle tangle. I don't want to work for you anymore. I want to be Rocco of Rocco's Roofing and Ruckus. <laughs> <laughs> I'd uh, also like to take a moment to point out that this roof apparently comes no higher than their necks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good thing we got a job in the Shire. Yeah. <laughs> now that the roof's built, we can start working our way down and build the foundation. Yeah, I guess so. Here, I got your jackhammer, but I don't want to start it. Kajunk, you start it. <laughs> I point out that that was a very light jackhammer. <laughs> At this point, I feel like you should have noticed. <laughs> oh. How are you going to start the jackhammer without the jackhammer key? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if you want the jackhammer key, I want half of everything. Well, you, get, you can just have the jackhammer key and just do the job. <laughs> God damn it, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted your money. I wanted your riches. I you'll, wanted your jewels. You'll get your mo my money once you finish the job. That's how jobs work. Well, if that's a job, I don't want one anymore. I just want the money. You and your shortcuts, Rocco. You and your shortcuts. The real comedy here <laughs> is that don't we all know someone like Rocco? <laughs> Fine. I'm just, I'm just going to take my tools and go home. I'm going to take my wrench. I'm going to take my hammer. I'm going to take my screwdriver. And the Phillips heads. Rocco is presently about one foot into the roof that he already built. <laughs> and he also stacked his tools on top of it earlier. Yeah! Uh, don't hire Rocco's Roofing Company in Ruckus. Uh, that's not a good company, unless you want a flipper flower roof. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to play a very fun game called Cold Topic. Hey. This involves. Everybody? Yeah. Perfect. So, uh, what I'm going to need from you guys is topics that are cold, old topics like the Civil War and stuff like that. Really old things, and then they're going to do vaudevillian jokes based on that because nothing beats jokes from the 1920s. They were roaring. <laughs> Make America great again. All right. Uh, all right. So, I need to. What well, does anybody have any kind of an old topic? Yes. Going to jail. That's a little too new. So when I said Civil War, I meant America's Civil War, not any of the current ones. Uh, or like the Marvel movie that came out last year. Way back in 2000. What's that? What's that? Cannon. A cannonball. A cannonball. A cannonball. Everyone else, think of some more, because I'm going to need some more. We'll start off with the cannonball after a warm round of applause. Hey, you fellas! What's that? Hey, what are you doing? Have you heard about this cannonball? No, tell us about it. Well, apparently. 
apparently they can move from room to room in Spain. That's right. They operate the hinges of the conquistadors. Ha! Ah. Whoa! Hey, boys. Yeah. Come here a minute. Did you hear that someone finally invented the cannonball? You don't say. I mean, I knew I, they'd get around to it eventually. Whoa. Hey, you fellas. Yeah. Have you heard about the cannonball? Oh, oh no. The inventor of it became so popular, all the ladies wanted him, and he became known as one of the best breeders. Oh, uh, I, oh yeah. One guy got it. Uh, one uh, guy got it. That was a new thing. I didn't, I didn't know that was a joke. Uh, <laughs> uh, anything else that's old? Powdered What's that? Powdered wigs. All right, another noun. Let's also think of time periods. So. Powdered wigs. Hey, you fellas! What's up, bro? <laughs> Have you heard about these powdered wigs? Oh, yeah? Yeah! Tell uh, me about it. Well, apparently, they're, they're running against the Tories for a political office. Yeah? Oh, it's the wig party. The wig party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a joke to a very... Now we're all about the wig party. Yes, yes. But let me tell you! What? Did you hear that when George Washington read the first draft of the Constitution, he was so shocked, his powdered wig blew right off the top of his head. You don't say! It was hair raisin. <laughs> hey, you fellas! What's up? Have you heard about the powdered wig? No. Me about it. Well, once it was invented, Billy Corgan finally had something to do for his music video, Tonight Tonight. That's another music joke. <laughs> oh, hey! Boy, oh boy! Uh, how about that time in history? American oh, Revolution. The Bay of Pigs, okay. A little hey, you fellas! Perfect. Yeah. Have you heard about this Bay of Pigs? What's that? Well, apparently, our Navy didn't show up, so Kennedy himself had to cast row, row, row his boat. Ah! <laughs> hey! 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 H
what was the name of Johnny Depp's character from the Pirates films? I'm drawing a blank. Oh, why well, was Captain Jack Sparrow? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you guys been? That's a huge franchise. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, that very well. Uh, this, yeah. is, uh, this is uh, Bob Saget from uh, uh, High Times. Sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I've seen that you might have gotten really good at this uh, six foot bong. Does that make you a particular good one of uh, these? Uh, I am oh. a. <laughs> I, <don't know> you. <laughs> I am, after all, uh, the. The best, the best smoker, they call me. Okay. <laughs> the best smoker. I, I got a couple of shit on it. Corey yes. Feldman, Wall Street Journal. Uh, <laughs> uh, Queen Victoria has denounced your activities. Oh! Well, <laughs> she can suck my boot because I am Lewis Carroll! <laughs> well, maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, a theory. Oh! Oh! I am the Mad Hatter! No! Uh, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen from, um, uh, I don't know, a magazine. Uh, what's, uh, why do you hate hookers? Yeah. <laughs> I hate hookers because I am Jack the Ripper! Yeah. I didn't realize that Corey Feldman was on, uh, Full House. Huh. All right, that's our time, everybody. We're Improv Show <laughs>